What's up, family? After reading some of you guys' comments, I went back to take another look. Actually, I took several looks at the video in which ESPN's Malika Andrews reportedly claimed that Jalen Rose, her colleague, had touched her armpits when he went to hug her. After further investigation, it appears that another colleague of hers Richard Jefferson was actually the culprit. He was right behind her and they all kind of met up at the same time. And as Jalen was hugging her, dude had reached and grabbed her. And it looked like it was inadvertent also. In any event, it also appears that the comment she made about get your fingers out of my armpit was directed at Richard Jefferson and not Jalen Rose. For that, I got to admit that I had it wrong. But I'm going to tell you something, fam, what I don't have wrong. Malika Andrews is still Malika Andrews. That's right, I said it. I can admit that I'm wrong, but I ain't apologizing not to her. Uh-uh, fam. I'm going to hold that apology because I know she's going to do something very soon because that's what she's been paid to do. Throw black people under the bus, specifically black male athletes. Yeah, watch. I guarantee you, fam, that's her hustle. I promise you y'all going to be at odds with her in less than a week or so. I promise you, because she's going to throw somebody else under the bus. Remember when she threw that dude, uh, what's his name? Adrian Payne. Adrian Payne played for Dallas Mavericks. He used to play for Michigan State. He was murdered in Orlando, Florida. What was this? I can't remember the year. 2018? Yeah, 2018. He was murdered. And No, no, it wasn't 2018. 2018 was, let me put it like this. I got my dates all mixed up. But in any event, she was given a report about him being murdered. And she made a point to say that he got kicked off Dallas, the Dallas Mavericks team for being accused, after he was accused of sexually assaulting someone when he went to Michigan State. Had zero to do. I mean, it had zero to do with this man's life, with him being murdered. Keep in mind, fam, there was no charges. He was never even charged. Why did she bring that up? Because that's what they do to us. She ain't no different. She was intent on Ime Udoka being held accountable she never ever mentioned the women who he was sleeping around with being held accountable. Y'all know damn well if the shoe was on the other foot. She would have been one of those, well, what about the men? What about the men? It's not always about the women. You're only going to single out women. That's not right. When these men, blah, 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 you know she would have done it. But she didn't mention the women being held accountable at all. She went after this man like he actually committed a crime. He apparently broke some type of unwritten rule, but he did not commit a crime. And she kept her foot on the gas 
trying to hold this man accountable. She may be partially responsible for him never ever working in the NBA again. And you know what's the cold part about it? Malika grandfather had a law firm, a civil rights law firm. Well, at least she worked in the civil rights department. She worked in the civil rights department. Malika has won a Black Journalist of the Year award. Didn't Kamala Harris like win some type of Black Stuff Award and then she, didn't she wasn't she some type of uh, sorority member or something? You know, had black thing going, black thing going, got in, said, I'm not black. I'm not African American. I'm Indian, I'm Cherokee Indian. I'm, I'm Italian, Irish, everything but black. It's a cold game, fam. Malika Andrews don't trust it, fam. Don't trust it. I don't trust her. And I know it's coming. I promise you, it's coming very, very soon. She always, she's always extremely critical of black athletes. I have yet to see her go after any prominent white athlete with the same amount of energy, vitriol, that she have for black males. It may take a few years, but sooner or later, Malika Andrews is going to cross that line. She is going to realize that white supremacy always discards its tools when it's done with them. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?